But Master, when will I learn to, you know, like do a double backflip and then throw the lightsaber at him and get him that way? No, really all you need to do is just attack the handle. The handle? But I was thinking if you tried to hit me, I could like duck underneath and then just cut him in half. No, if you attack the handle, the fight's over. Really? Because I was thinking it'd be over when I jumped over his head and then one behind him cut his head off. Uh, keep practicing. But what if you had a double on the same? Happening, folks. Tis the season of Star Wars once again. If you haven't watched my first video where I cover the basics of lightsaber fighting versus sword fighting, you can click my face and it'll take you right to it. I'll be right here while you do that. This video is all about double-ended lightsabers and their real-world counterpart, the medieval quarterstaff. The first thing most people are going to think of when it comes to realistic fighting with the double saber is the quarterstaff. Although the double saber is similar to the quarterstaff, the two weapons are quite different, as the double saber can obviously only be held by the handle. Whereas with a quarterstaff you can hold either end as well as the middle, which lets you use it like the sword or a spear. The majority of attacks with the quarterstaff take advantage of its length, allowing you to attack at a distance like a spear. As a matter of fact, a quarterstaff is really just a spear without the tip. So how does the double saber stack up against a single bladed lightsaber? Although a close range weapon, the single bladed lightsaber is very versatile in how it can be used. You can cut, thrust and slice from almost any angle, high or low. The double bladed lightsaber on the other hand doesn't have the reach or wide range of strikes due to the way you have to hold it. Because of this, most cuts can only come from the left or the right which aren't as powerful or dangerous as strikes that come from above. It's also tricky to effectively thrust at long range due to the grip. Lastly, the extra long handle is extremely vulnerable to attack, as shown in the film. The double-ended lightsaber basically has three advantages. One, it can perform combination attacks faster. Two, when one blade is attacking, the other blade is defending. And three, it has a large handle that you can bash faces with. Darth Maul uses all these advantages during his fight with Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. So how would a real fight with a double-bladed lightsaber go? Considering the limitations of strikes and range, the fighter would have to be extremely well trained, take the initiative and constantly attack, have complete mastery of footwork and use punches and kicks to supplement the weapon's disadvantages. Darth Maul does all of these things except taking the initiative to attack. This is probably because he's outnumbered 2 to 1. Let the hate flow through you. In the hangar bay, he's overwhelmed by the two Jedi and retreats into the power core room. He's able to separate the two Jedi using the platforms and shield walls until he can go one on one against Qui-Gon. The two go toe to toe for a while until Maul uses his handle to bash Qui-Gon in the face and find an opening in his defence. It's not until he faces off against Obi-Wan that he actually takes the initiative to attack. Sure, Obi-Wan is able to cut his saber in half but Darth Maul basically dominates the fight. Because the double saber is a pretty awkward weapon, if you don't press the attack, you'll be overwhelmed by attacks from above and eventually get your handle cut in half. With all that said, 
The film does a pretty good job making the double bladed lightsaber work in a relative context. The double saber would be much harder to use, so they had to be a bit more realistic in how it was used to make the fight more convincing. Strike me down. Oh, shut up! Master! Double backflip! Aha! Because of the limitations of the weapon, a single lightsaber would overall be a better option. Two lightsabers, especially if they were of varying lengths, would be even better than that. Lastly, I think a lightsaber with a 6 foot long blade would also be superior to the double bladed lightsaber. If you were going to fight with a double bladed lightsaber, it would probably be wise to start with one blade on, then wait for a moment to ignite the other blade to take the advantage. Mid swing for example. Hope this has been educational. Enjoy this year's Star Wars film, guys, and as always, I'm Mike. This is Mike's Mike. May the Force be with you.